Hello, David. My name is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas. I spoke to Jeff yesterday, and I'm making this quick free custom video on three easy ways that you can beat your competition online starting today. And David, you might be asking, Devin, why are you making me this video? And the reality is I found out a little while ago that there's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending a majority of their time doing what they're supposed to, which is taking care of their customers, doing the right thing, and they don't really have much time to learn how the internet can help them and benefit them and bring in more of those customers. I also found by making these free attack plans, a lot of small business owners at the end of it to say, hey, you know what, Devin, I like you. I see you've got some tricks up your sleeve. I know you can help me do this for you. I would just want you to take care of it for me. So if you do want me to take care of all this for you at the end of it, just give me a call or if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer those for you. If you just want to take this free attack plan and apply it to your own website, by all means, that's totally okay too. All I ask is you give me some feedback to help me grow. So without further ado, the three things I'm going to talk to you about today are going to be content, citations, and then backlinks. So content is anything that Google's crawlers or their robots look for on the front page of your website to tell you where they should rank your website and what should rank it for. And content is going to be all the words on the front page, as well as what the names of the images are, as well as what the words are that are behind those images. And so looking at your website, right away, it's eye-catching. I love the pictures you have here. It's a really nice looking website. Um, as far as content, you definitely could use a little bit more. An authoritative website in Google's eyes is going to be considered anywhere from about 1,500 to 2,000 words. Now, back in the day, it was 1,500. It's closer to about 2,000 now. And if we look at your page, you're sitting at right, hundred, right about 521 words. So you're going to want to get, I would recommend going up to about 2,000 words just to make sure you have that top spot. And if we look at what your pictures are saved as, let's see what this one, can't save that. Um can't really see what your pictures are saved as but I would save them as things such as like Dallas plumbing Dallas plumbing services stuff like that where when someone searches for it your website pops up for that looking at your competitors you have Dallas plumbing these are the number one guys when you type as, type in Dallas plumbing they got a ton of content probably close to 2,000 words themselves so again I would shoot for 2,000 if you really want to dominate them go for 2,500 to 2,750 um, Texas green plumbing again they got a ton of content on the front page just beat them out, do twenty, do 2,000 up to 2,500 words, you should be good. The higher you go, the better. Content is king. Now, content isn't everything, though. To finish up the, the ranking process and organic search results, Google also looks at backlinks. Now, backlinks are anywhere where a website gives you a link that could drive traffic from their website to your website. And the way Google looks at it is they want to see other websites within your industry and within your niche giving you that power because you're gonna get a lot better results from like another plumbing company linking back to you <clears throat> than you would from like a pizza company linking back to you obviously you're not selling pizzas so I use a tool to check this out it's called AREFS um, it costs about a thousand bucks a month depending on the plan but it does give you a lot of this information regarding search engine optimization and it shows right now your rank has been dropping over the past three months you have 79 domains referring back to you which is giving you 176 backlinks and you have a really high trust factor, but a low power factor, which means that you probably don't have that many links coming from plumbing industry or plumbing niches. You're going to want to get that. But the bigger thing is how many you have in general. You can still brute force past it. If we look at your competitors, you're sitting at Dallas Plumbing. They're at 280, and they're a little closer to that one-to-one -one ratio you're looking for right here. Um, so you definitely want to beat them out. And then same with Texas Green Plumbing. They have 93 referring domains. So you're sitting at 79. To be frank, if you really want to just take that number one spot and beat them, you would you shouldn't add any less than about 220 just to get right above Dallas Plumbing. But if you want to like completely dominate the market, I would say add on a good 300 more domains linking back to you and make sure they're within the plumbing niche so you get all that power and Google puts you in that number one spot in in their organic search results. The final thing I'm going to talk about is one of the most important to get people who are like really ready to buy right away. If you type in Dallas Plumber, the first thing people see is this right here. This is a new paid advertising service that Google offers called Google Guaranteed. And it's awesome. It's a form of paid advertising, but it's a lot better results than you typically get from like, you know, really highly complained about ones like Home Advisor and stuff like that. Going on here, um, it does take a little bit of time to certify your business, but once you're on there, they're much higher quality leads. I'd recommend getting the starter for you. And then these standard leads that we're all used to, they don't work the way they used to. There's a lot of companies or a lot of people out there that may need your services, but they have ad blockers on their on their internet browser, so they don't see it anymore. And also, a lot of people have had bad experiences with this, so they don't even click them to begin with. So where most people go when they need a plumber right away is they're going to look right here in the map pack or the Google My Business section. And to get in here, it depends on how many citations you have. 
Citations are anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed into different directories on the web. And you might be asking, what's a directory and how do I get into it? Directories are any websites that allow you to list all your business's information. So like Yellow Pages, White Pages, Yelp, Bing, Facebook, these different directories out there. And a strategy we like to use to, to really beat out our competition is we'll go look in the same area that, that we're helping a company in and we'll find where these where what directories these are listed in and we'll take those exact same directories list ourselves in them and then we add on another 50 to 60 give ourselves a nice space cushion so that's what i'd recommend for you um so that's all i got for you again what i went over today the three things were content i'd get your website up to 2000 maybe 3000 words just to make sure you really secure that spot because content is king then add on another 300 backlinks or so to make sure that google knows that you're authoritative and they put you to the number one spot in google so you're taking all that traffic and the final thing is I would uh, add on citations. And those citations, again, just go to your competitors, see what directories they're being listed in, and add them to yourself. So that's it. If you want to do that yourself, by all means, I just want to see you succeed. So uh, I'll, I can send you some, video, or some pictures down the road. I'd be glad to see you, you know, succeed. And you can do that. If you want me to help you with this, you can also do that. Um, just come to our website right here. It's seodallastexas.com. Here's our phone number. It's 214-441-6737. If you're on mobile, you can just click this directly. But uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.